the sign that when the farmers market shuts yeah. down we know that <laughs> everything's going to start changing here really soon well you know it's never been 80 or warmer beyond the 20th of october and today it was 78. Yeah, it was nice. Okay. It was nice. All right. So yeah. we're really pushing the <laughs> warm weather this time of the year. And uh, that old Great Salt Lake, it stays warm. And uh, do you remember October 18th, 1984? If you don't, I do. We had about a foot to a foot and a half of snow about mid part of Salt Lake City and as much as 36 inches on the U of U campus from a lake effect storm. And the warmer it stays, the longer into the season, the more vulnerable we are. As you can see, the beautiful shots we have there for you. This was last night's winner of the weekly contest. I thought I'd just show it to you again. This picture from Cedar Breaks, beautiful colors there. How about some more colors? And Terry Baker says, bring the snow on. This is the base of Snowbird. The colors there are looking really good. And I couldn't resist this beautiful picture with the high clouds. Terry ba nope, that's, uh, that is, uh, well, it's the Logan Temple and uh, some high clouds there in the background. 79 now officially, so we did bump it one more degree. Officially 79 in Salt Lake City today. 51 in Great Falls, 74 in Reno. Still warm across California, but there is cooler weather coming because there's a huge redevelopment, reorganization of the jet stream, and that's going to bring a split into the western United States. Now, cool up in the northeast, hot in the midsection, and the teeter-totter usually swings, the pendulum swings a little bit with this hot weather here kind of pushing eastward. That's going to allow some cooler weather to come into the western United States. I'm not talking lake effect snows yet, but I am talking about the possibility of some uh, mountain snow, maybe above uh, 10,000 feet. Now, 69 in Ogden, 72 in Salt Lake City right now, 64 in Los Angeles. These storms are kind of just developing. It does look like there will be isolated thunder showers and brief showers with some microburst winds developing during the day tomorrow. And then tomorrow night will be the best chance along the northern Wasatch Front as that low pressure off the coast begins to move inland. So here's tomorrow. Slight chance here in Salt Lake City, a little higher chance in Provo. And then the low kind of works its way southward in a split it's boy, it is really split and uh, southern Utah is going to get pounded from this storm on Monday and probably into Tuesday. So again, making your plans, plan on some wet weather tomorrow in the center part of the state. Uh, Roosevelt, you're uh, kind of on the western fringe and for St. George, look for a chance for an isolated thunder shower. Good chance Manti, Nephi, Delta, Ely, you'll have about a 30, 40 percent chance, a big chance here on Monday for St. George. And then a little chance is that storm does what I call a loop de loop, goes down to Southern California, then it comes back again and just sort of skirts Southern Utah on Thursday. Now in the north, best development of these showers in the afternoon will be Provo Orem southward, slight chance to the north. Look for highs about 10 degrees cooler tomorrow from where we were today. And for the next several days, say goodbye to upper 70s. But guess what? With that storm heading to the south, we'll be on the northern fringe. So slight chance tomorrow, a little higher chance tomorrow night and early Monday. And then it's upper 60s and low 70s for the rest of the week. Pretty normal fall temperature. For Looking this time good. Of year. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good stuff. Thanks, Dan. Enjoy. Utes playing right now. Yep. BYU and? played earlier. Okay. Yeah. Kind of a tale of two different cities. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 11